Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. So let's continue our discussion on squeeze theorem and do one last question on calculating the limit of the sequence for this expression over here using the squeeze theorem or using the sandwich theorem. So again, we have already covered the concepts about squeeze theorem and have already done two examples on this topic over here. So before watching this video, I'll highly suggest you to first watch those previous two videos on squeeze theorem in order to get the full idea about how we solve the limit of the sequence questions using squeeze theorem. So in this case, you have to calculate the limit of the sequence for this expression. Again, the limit of the sequence is basically limit n tends to infinity for n to the power sine n over n square in this case, right? And you also know that it's harder for us to calculate the limit of n tends to infinity for this expression over here. But we know that since we have a sine function over here, we know a very important property about the sine functions that the range of a sine function is always between minus one and one. So we know that this sequence over here, n to the power sine n over n square, since n is also positive, it's always greater than or equal to one, right? Because this is a sequence. Whenever we want to calculate the terms of the sequence, we always start with n equals one, right? So we know that our n is positive. So if our n is positive, we can easily conclude that this expression over here, since sine n can take the maximum value of one, this sequence is always lesser than or equal to n to the power one upon n square, right? And similarly, the minimum value of sine n is minus one. So that is why this sequence is always greater than or equal to n to the power minus one over n square. So if we simplify this, the left hand side is one by n cube. The right hand side is one by n and in the middle we have our original sequence. Our original sequence is n to the power sine n over n square, right? And now we want to calculate because if we want to use the squeeze theorem, we want to calculate the limit for n tends to infinity for one by n cube and also the limit for n tends to infinity for one by n in this case. This is equal to zero. This is also equal to zero. So since both of these limits of sequence for these two sequences are equal to zero, we can easily conclude that based on squeeze theorem or based on sandwich theorem, they are the same thing. Based on squeeze theorem, we can easily conclude that the limit of n tends to infinity for n to the power sine n over n square is also equal to zero which means that this sequence also converges and the limit of the sequence is basically equal to zero in this case. So again, we use the squeeze theorem. We use the same concepts that we covered in the last videos to calculate the limit of the sequence for this expression over here. So feel free to comment down in this video if you have any doubts. Follow the channel in order to get notified about the other videos that I'll be uploading. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.